Hello and welcome to Little Sue Crafty Beginner. So in my previous, one of my previous videos, my first wand, I had a nice comment from the lovely Sylvia Castello who had asked me if I could show how to use the envelope maker on the Crafter's Companion. Now I've had my Crafter's Companion for just under a year now. Um, I think I got it September last year and I'd made Hunter's envelopes over Christmas period so I actually quite liked using my Crafter's Companion to do that and I'd used my Crafter's Companion to make my wand so she wanted to know if I could do a wee quick tutorial on how to make the envelope, how to use the envelope part of it so you get this booklet with that and it gives you all the instructions for all all the components that are actually in this so you get this part and then you get these two parts which this one is actually the box maker you've also got secret compartments as well so this wee booklet actually goes in here as well as a couple of tools and then in this part this is where your spare boards go that you can buy separate for them so I'm going to use this part here to make an envelope so right in the back of this booklet oh, not right at the back almost to the very back pages so there's 24 pages and on page 18 and 19 oops, it gives you the envelope or the envelope box so this tells you how to make envelopes and there's all different sizes of envelopes there's not many sizes in here to be fair but these are the standard envelopes that people would make and then it tells you the size of paper that you need to make all these envelopes but it also tells you what type of card actually fits in it so today I'm just going to be making the C6 envelope one so using my scoring tool put that under there so that it stays down so all it is is just an A4 sheet of paper and all you're doing is cutting it 21 centimetres by 21 centimetres and I think that is eight and a quarter inches if I'm correct I'm not sure so basically in your scoreboard you've got the big lip here and then there's a wee tiny groove just a wee bit further down um, now I'll be using that part later on but in the big one you push it in as far as it'll go and then line up right along this edge in. and then it says scoring at C now I like to go from this side because I can see where this line actually is so I'm just going to go straight down then I'm going to turn it right the way, 180, all the way around and then I'm going to score at C again and then one quarter turn and it says to score at E so this is E here Now, because of this wee lip here, I normally get this sort of weird... I'll just try and line it up as the best I can and then... But that's not going to really matter because that bit gets cut off anyway. And right the way around again. And we're scoring E again. See, as you've seen there, I just went off to the side there, which I did not mean to do. 
but like I said we're going to cut them off in a minute so it's not going to matter. So that's all four score lines put in. Just quickly grab the charger for the camera because it's a way to die. There we go. So you're just using a pair of scissors. I'm just going to cut off all these corners. Now I like to cut where the score line is. I just move it a wee bit more over and cut off a wee bit more than where the score line actually shows you. Just so as it gives it a more flushed look when the card's actually when the card is folded into the envelope shape. That's all four cut off. I'm just quickly fold it. I'm just going to hand fold it out of quickness. But if you use your bone folder, you'll get a nice clean line. And then, so I'll show you what I mean. So, as you can see, Right there, you can see the score line on the inside even though I've got this top one folded over. That's because I cut just slightly over where the score line was. Just so it sits a wee bit better. And then all you do is just put glue on it. Now because this one's quite big, you could easily round that corner, make it a wee bit better looking. But out of quickness, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then, just fold that down, and that's a flat envelope. So, in the book, it gives you instructions on how to make an envelope box and all that is is it just gives you a wee tiny depth so is that if you've got a card that you've put embellishments on that you don't want to try and squeeze into a flat envelope you could easily make a slightly deep envelope I'm not sure how to explain it, but I will show you what I mean. So, yet again, it's just 21 centimetres by 21 centimetres. And we're still going to make a C6 envelope, but we're going to score it at C and E. And then we're going to move it down and score it at C and E again. So, put it up, score and see. See. E. And E. And then now all we're going to do is move it down. So this wee tiny lower lip, we'll push it in there. And then we're going to score it at E again, making sure that it's flush as it'll go. And then in at E, let's go all the way down. 
wash up as far as it'll go and we'll score all the way down. And we see and see. And that gives you eight score lines on this card. And to make this, I'll fold it first. Because when I make the box, the envelope box to this one, I kind of mostly forget where I'm supposed to be making the wee tabs. Right, so so tabs need to be on the smaller ones. So all we're gonna do is cut up this edge in here. We're gonna leave we're gonna cut off this wee tiny corner. This tiny triangle just above it, and then that makes that. And we'll do the same on this one. Actually, I'm going to taper them as well, just try and make it a wee bit more flush with the inside of the card. And then we tiny triangle here, just take that off. Small triangle. Taper. And last one, just taper. And small triangle. And then Bring these in. Now you could go these wee tabs down if you want. It's quite fiddly to do that, so I'm just going to leave them just now as they are, and I'm just going to glue the envelope itself. I'm going to glue the triangles quickly. Glue up. up. And that just gives you a small box envelope. Like that. So that's the small box envelope. Now I think this is actually one half an inch thick maybe. So that's how to use this part. Now if you're like me, who has the Crafters Companion, you've also got some of the boards that go with that. 
Now I've got the envelope board, which is this one. And I also have this one here as well, which I'm going to put down. And then I will put this one on here, just so as it makes this edge a little more flush. And in here, you've got three different types, four different types of envelopes that you can make. So you've got the flat envelopes. Now the first few pages are all in centimetres. So this is the flat envelopes in centimetres. This is 12 millimetre depth envelopes. The 18 millimetre depth envelopes and the 24 millimetre depth envelopes. And then you flip it over and this is the inches one. So this is the flat envelopes in inches the half an inch depth envelope then you've got the three three quarter inch depth envelope and the one inch depth envelope now I'm going to make a one inch depth envelope uh, just to show you the difference between all three well not all three sizes but the different uses for these so the one I'm going to make is 4.5 by 4.5 and it says that you need a 8 and 1 quarter inch which I think is 21 centimetres so it's 21 centimetres by 21 centimetres just turn this round sorry right so in this one you've got all the wee grooves in here so this very last one is the one we're going to use just now and it also lines up with these ones here right on the very end. Now the bigger the paper the more it'll hang over which is why I put the other board underneath just to make it a wee bit more flush. It does still stay in place, not much wriggling so that's a good thing. So all we're going to do is line this up and then for this one we're scoring at E and E and this makes a square box. So E and that's on the very bottom. If you move it right up to the very very top you will see that the A line we just scored lines up with the A line then. So what I'm going to do is score an E because I know that that is now straight and then turn it round and I'm just going to do the exact same thing all the way around this make sure that it's lined up and then E Moving it right up, making sure that both ends line up with the A now, and then scoring at E again. Turn it round, score E, move it up, making sure both my lines are in line with A. And scoring E again. And last one. Scoring E. Moving it up. So that's what it'll look like once you put all the score lines in. It's quite thick as you can see. So for this one, I'm going to do the exact same as I did with the pink one. Is I'm going to taper at the same side on each. So we these two, and then these two, and then cutting off these wee tiny triangles on either side as well.
Now because this one's a square box it doesn't actually matter which side you're tapering but with the other one it really does matter which side you're tapering because I found that one out the hard way when I tried to put a box together and my wee tabs were in the wrong part which made it quite difficult to try and glue it together. So that's that all done. So as you can see the tabs are on the same side. So all I'm going to do is just fold all of these now. I'm just folding them with my fingers out of sheer quickness. If you want a good fold, use a bone folder. And then basically with this one, you really should glue the tabs down. So, plenty of glue on it. And just hold it in place for a wee bit. I'm just quickly checking to make sure that the outside lines up nicely. It's not too bad, I've just cut just slightly off in that corner but not by much. And just go down either side. This part's a wee bit more difficult. So sometimes your box can go a wee bit off. And then all I'm going to do is just use my bone folder, lay it flat and go inside the box, just press down, try and make sure you're pressing down where the glue is. And that's that. That is a nice thick envelope box. Now you can cut off these wee tiny triangle tabs here just to make it a little bit more nicer so that you're not getting the score marks in there. And that's a nice thick. So that if you've got a card that's got quite a big embellishment like say paper flowers and putting it in a box like this means that they're not going to get squished and obviously using a thicker card stock I've just used the Poundland paper here just to make them out of quickness so that is 
the different types of envelopes. Your flat one, your small depth one and then your quite massive one inch depth one. So I hope this was helpful Sylvia for you and thank you very much for the suggestion and thank you for everybody else who's watched the video. If you're not already subscribed please subscribe, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks everyone, bye!